Learner's Packet, Week 6. So, what have you noticed on the picture? Yan, kung mapapansin nyo, my hand and my robot. Ano yung meron? Pareha silang kamay. Yun nga lang may nagbago. Yung isa, uh, tunay, and yung isa is machine na lang ang nagpapagana. So, may pagbabago or changes. So, for today's topic, we're going to discuss the theories of evolution. So, last time we discussed about the evolution. All about the homologous, the analog analogous, the fossils. And today, we're going to discuss these theories of evolution. But before that, what is the difference between theory and law? Pag naririnig natin si theory and law. Yan. We have the Big Bang Theory, we have the Laws of Motion, the Law of Attraction, Law of Action Reaction, Law of Inertia. So, ano yung kaibahan nila? Bakit may theory? Bakit may law? Yan. So, we have the theory. In theory, it is the system of ideas intended to be explained. So, nai-explain, halos same sila ni law. Yun nga lang, ang kaibahan, parehas sila may explanation, parehas silang may aral, parehas na pinapatunayan. Ang kaibahan lang is that in theories, a lack of evidences. While in law, enough evidences. Kaya, uh, nagiging rule na siya. Pag sinabi natin rule, uh, law, batas, pinapatupad. Yan. So, yun po yung kaibahan nila. So, for our introduction, so, yan, nakikita natin si Charles Darwin. Familiar kay Charles Darwin? Yes, ma'am. Nung elementary po kami sa Hekasi, sa AP. Yan. Uh, he was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. So, Si Charles Darwin po, in long time ago, uh, he observed a small flock of sparrow like birds called finches. So, tawag dun sa bird na inobserve niya is finches. Were blown out to sea by a fierce of storm. They lost their bearings but flew on in search of the mainland going further and further out to sea. So, malayo na yung narating nila. 600 miles from home, they spotted a speck of land. So, nakita nila yung isang island in the middle of the sea. They were safe and could rest. They can drink and feed before returning home. But, this island was perfect. Para sa kanila, perfect yung island na yun. Bakit po? Kasi, wala pong predator, wala po silang magiging kakompetensya sa pagkain, sa inumin, o kahit sa lugar. So, life was much harder on the mainland. There was no need for the birds to move on. Their numbers grew until they become just a bit too numerous for the little island. So, dumami na sila doon sa nakita nilang island. Hindi na sila bumalik sa mainland kasi alam nila na kaya na nilang mabuhay doon, kaya nila magparami doon, at yun nga yung nangyari, dumami sila. Kaya, ang nangyari ay kailangan nila maghanap ng pagkain para sa sarili nila at para sa mga anak nila. Kaya ang nangyari ay yung mga maliliit pa na birds ay lumayo, naghanap ng pagkain na available. Then, yung iba naman talaga ay umalis na at naghanap ng iba pang isla. So, yung iba nakakita ng bagong island or bagong territories also with no predators and other birds to compete with. 
So, hindi nila kailangan makipagkompetensya kasi wala rin pong predators. Pag sinabi natin predators, ito yung mga kumakain. Ano po, na pwedeng kumain sa kanila. So, as the plants and seed were just a little different on each island, Some birds were better than others at finding and eating the new food sources. So, birds which could break open fruits and eat seeds survived well enough to produce lots of babies. Eventually, after a very long time, all the island became occupied by these birds, but the finches on each island were slightly different. So, nung nakakita na sila ng other territories, Uh, yung iba kumakain na ng plants, yung iba ng seeds. So, in different island, marami na rin bird ang nandun. And yung mga finches na yun is nag-iba-iba na. Nag-iba-iba na yung itsura nila. So, malalaman natin mamaya ano yung naging kaibahan nila. Still, they are finches or same kind of bird pero may kaibahan na sa kanila. So, for our learning task 1, we have the guide questions. So, bring out your paper. Kindly write on your paper the Learner's Packet Week 6, Science 10, Learning Task 1. So, kindly explain why it is unlikely that more than one flock of birds would find the island in this way at the same time. Second, suggest two possible reasons why there were no predators on the island. Third, why, there, why were there no other birds to compete with? Number four, why might, why might some finches survive better than others on the same food sources? And number five, why were the finches slightly different each island? For the development, we have the theories. Ano-ano po ba yung theories in this evolution? Sabi nyo nga, evolution, di ba? Pagbabago, may mga nabago. So, ano yung mga theory or ano yung mga pinag-aralan na may mga ebedensya pero nagkulang? So, we have first the person involved in studying this. We have first John Baptiste de Lamarck wherein He was the first evolutionist to believe that organisms change over time. So, siya yung kauna-unahang tao na nag-aral about sa evolution. Lagi daw may pagbabago, according to him. So, he's a French naturalist wherein if He published a book entitled Zoological Philosophy wherein he presented his idea on evolution. Lamarck was the first biologist who offered a concrete hypothesis to explain how plants and animals might have evolved. Lamarck made two major assumptions, but first we have The theory of need as one of his theory. The theory of need, uh, from the term itself, need, kailangan. It states that organisms change in response to their environment. So, kailangan magbago ng isang organisms kung, sa, kung nasaan man siya. Kailangan niyang mai-adapt kung ano yung meron doon. Their ability to survive help them develop characteristics necessary for them to adopt in a given environment. And Lamarck also made a two major assumptions. So we have the theory of used and disused and a theory of acquired characteristics. Ano po yung meron? Ano yung kaibahan nilang dalawa? So we have in theory of used and disused. So, according to him, organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop. Just imagine sa theory niya, yung organs na hindi daw po ginagamit ay kusa na lang mawawala. At yung organs na ginagamit o madalas natin ginagamit ay mas madedevelop pa. 
So, yun po yung nakapasok sa kanyang theory of used and disused. So, example na po dyan is yung uh, giraffe. A uh, long time ago, ang giraffe daw po ay merong short neck. So, kung mapapansin natin, si giraffe po ay mahahaba yung leeg, ba? Diba? Pero, on this part, uh, noon daw po is giraffe have short necks. But, some of the need to survive and in order to reach tall trees for food, they kept stretching their necks until they this became longer and able to reach taller trees. So, no, dati po matataas yung mga halaman, mga puno. So, kung si giraffe ay ma maiksi yung kanyang leeg, kailangan niyang mabuhay. At yung kinakain nila po, sila po ay herbivores. So, kinakain nila ay mga halaman lang. Dahil matataas ang puno, kailangan nilang i-stretch yung neck nila. So, Kaya po pasok siya sa theory of use and disuse is that nung unang panahon yung neck nila ay maikse dahil nga lagi nilang ginagamit, humaba to hanggang sa tuluyan ang humaba at hindi na bumalik sa dati. So, yun po ang an example nila sa theory of use and disuse according to Lamarck. Another is the theory of acquired characteristics. From the term itself, acquired, nakukuha, namamana. So, according to this characteristic, uh, this theory, parent animal could pass on its offspring the characteristics it had acquired during its lifetime. Thus, the offspring would inherit those characteristics that had become enlarged because of excessive use or that which has grown smaller from disuse. So, kung ano yung meron kay nanay na lagi niyang ginagamit, makukuha yun ng anak niya. E, paano po ma'am pag si parent po nagpakulay ng buhok, naging bland yung buhok niya, naging purple, naging brown, kapag nanganak po ba siya, magiging brown din po ba yung buhok niya? Yan, tingin nyo. Siyempre, hindi. Kasi sabi nga kung ano yung meron sa, na, sa parent, di ba? Yun lang yung makukuha. So, kung color brown yung kulay ng parent na yun, for example, dog, may tendency na maging color brown din yung magiging anak nila. So, hindi, yan sa, hindi nila makukuha kung ano yung binago ng parent sa sarili nila. So, ayun po. So, yan. Many scientists rejected the theories of Lamarck. The theory of need, theory of use and disuse, theory of acquired characteristics. They understood that if there were changes in cell or body structures, there could be changes in the genetic information of the species. Today, Lamarck's idea was proven to be incorrect. So, phenotypic Changes acquired during an organism's lifetime cannot pass on to next generation. Cutting the cat's tail will not produce kittens without tail. So, tandaan po natin yan, ano? So, from the term itself, overproduction. Masyad ang uh, marami ang pagproduce. It is having of many offspring increases the chance that some of them will survive. This, this offspring will compete for resources like food, shelter, and water. Very few survive long enough to reproduce. And we also have adaptation. Adaptation is a set of genetically acquired traits that make the organisms better suited to its environment. Individuals with advantageous adaptation are more likely to survive and reproduce than those individuals lacking the adaptation. So, kung sino po ang kayang makapag-survive, ay mas tatagal sila at kung sino yung hindi kaya ay hindi po makaka for our engagement 
we have the guide questions. Kindly answer this on your paper 1 to 5 based on the discussion of answer the following questions. Number 1, who is Charles Darwin? How did he think species evolved? Second, what is adaptation? Third, what is natural selection? Fourth, what does the phrase survival of the fittest mean? And last number, how are the concepts of natural selections and survival of the fittest related? And you're going also to make an essay wherein you're going to compare and contrast the theories of John Baptist de la Mark and Charles Darwin. So we have here the rubrics. In rubrics, we have the feature, the quality of writing, the grammar, usage, and mechanics. So we have four expert, three accomplished, capable, two, and one beginner. So we have for the assessment. Kindly answer this. You have the copy of this in your lip paper. Kindly answer on your lip paper. Circle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, who observed the variation of organisms in Galapagos Island? Number two, uh, A, Charles Darwin, B, Charles Liel, C, John Baptist de la Marque, D, James Hutton. Number two, who proposed the theory of acquired characteristics? A. Charles Darwin B. Charles Yale C. John Baptiste de la Mark D. James Hutton 3. What concept states that having many offspring increases the chance that some of them will survive? A. Adaptation B. Descent with modification C. Overproduction D. Variation Number four, what theory states that organs not in use will disappear while organs in use will develop? Number A, theory of acquired characteristics. B, theory of evolution. C, theory of natural selection. D, theory of use and disuse. Five, last number, camels and cacti are adapted to live in dry places like desert. Or desert. What concept does it exhibit? A. Adaptation. B. Overproduction. C. Survival of the fittest. And D. Variation. That. Thank you for listening.